Well, you guys know what tomorrow is, the 4th of July, the time of year where Americans can come together and have large cookouts with family and friends, get absolutely hammered, watch some pretty dope fireworks, and most of all, eat some classic American foods. So, with that in mind, I'm channeling my inner American and honoring five iconic American snacks that are sadly no longer with us. So today, sit back as we look back at some classic American snacks that are now discontinued. It began with a nut and a bowl. Starting with Planters PB Crisps, a peanut-shaped graham cracker snack filled with peanut butter. They were released in 1992 and were only available until 1995, but they managed to keep a strong following with it. The reason Planters gives for discontinuing them is the standard, there wasn't enough demand for them. But even as recently as 2023, there was an online fan petition going around with over 10,000 signatures. No matter where you look, the number one thing fans say is there has never been anything like them on the market before or since. And peanut butter wasn't its only flavor. They also had a chocolate filled and PB&J variety. Snack company Nutty and Nostalgia did release a 90s crisp for a limited time, which was their version of the classic snack, but still it hasn't been enough for planters to get on board with the idea of a comeback. Maybe they're still scared from the whole cheese ball situation. Next up we have Hershey Swoops, a chocolate bar that was thin like a chip and shaped just like, well, I don't even need to say it. I mean, the packaging for them was even almost identical to the mini Pringle cans. They were first introduced in 2003 and lasted 3 years before being discontinued in 2006. Besides the obvious Pringles branding, another reason they got pulled off shelves was because Hershey did not do a super good job advertising them. In a consumer survey of 2004, only 14% of the market said they had ever even heard of Swoops. Which is insane because they were available in more than just the Hershey flavor, expanding into Reese's, White Chocolate Reese's, York Peppermints, and even Heath Bars. They even had a Strawberries and Cream and a Hershey's White Chocolate edition for the holiday season. However, they just never caught enough buzz, and Hershey decided to pull them off the shelves before they could actually get into any trouble with Pringles. No, I am not making this up. There was once a time in the 60s when for some reason, Colgate decided to try and expand into the frozen meal market. In 1961, a man named George Henry Lesh became head chairman and president of Colgate and his main goal was aggressively trying to expand the company's reach. It's no secret that in the 60s, that was the prime for the TV dinner market. So that's where they decided to go. They actually even tried testing another food product called Snapples. No relation to the tea, but they were just dried apple chips and never made it to market. Eventually, the company landed on seafood and chicken and had a limited market run in the mid 60s where they were quickly pulled off shelves. While, in retrospect, it doesn't seem totally insane for a company that specializes in clean teeth trying to make food. I mean, after all, we give our dog treats that are meant to help them with their dental hygiene all the time. However, people could just not get past the idea of a toothpaste company making food. And honestly, I can't blame them. I mean, this could honestly get a full video with the story behind this. It even goes as far as Colgate straight up refusing to acknowledge its existence. I mean, let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments. After almost a decade of trying out different recipes, in 1982, Lifesavers finally joined the soda game. Releasing a whole line of sodas to go with their fruity flavors, it seemed almost too smart of an idea. And when initial testing happened, that idea seemed to be confirmed, with 95% of participants giving the drink a high review. However, they must have just coincidentally picked the only people who liked it for testing or something. Because once it hit the market, it didn't last long at all. It was marketed as tasting like liquid candy, which seems pretty good, but it wasn't enough for consumers to continue buying it. In 1995, they tried to enter the drink game again with their Shake or Squeeze It, which were non-carbonated juice style drinks with similar flavors, but these only lasted a few years. It seems Lifesavers should just stick to candy and mints. In 2007, Kellogg's introduced one of its most iconic lines to date, the Cereal Straws. An edible straw flavored like Fruit Loops, Apple Jacks, or Cocoa Krispies that was intended for you to drink milk with. While these are a beloved Gen Z snack, they were discontinued just a few years later for unknown reasons. 
While there are reports of Kellogg apparently claiming that reviews weren't that good for them, a little controversial thing here is around this time Kellogg was in a court battle with concerned parents over nutritional benefits for breakfast in America. Yes, that's real. And while fruit straws weren't named in any of the court papers, Kellogg said it would change or stop producing any products that didn't meet the health agreements they had settled on. And shortly after this, fruit straws were taking off shelves. That could just be a wild conspiracy. Because in 2021, they did make a brief comeback. But again, it already appears they're nowhere in sight. Just being left to rot in the graveyard of American snacks. Looking back, there have been many different snacks that have come and gone in our little American fingers. If there's one thing I can safely say about our country, it's that we definitely make some of the coolest snacks ever. And then get rid of them a year later. I mean, what's up with that? That's why I gotta become rich man, so I can DM these brands and have them make me a batch of these things and then I'll share them with you guys. I mean, just kidding. Kinda. <laughs> no, I appreciate you all so much for watching, seriously. And I hope you all have a fun and safe 4th of July, and if you're not American, then hey, have a happy Thursday. Either way, make sure to like and subscribe to help out the channel, and comment some of your favorite snacks that got taken away too soon. And I will see you in the next video, y'all. Peace.